Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. You gotta love the gold volatility. You gotta love 60, 80 point swings on each day. You gotta be a participant in that kind of movement. We've got some day trading approaches, some options approaches that you might want to learn about. Please give me your or Al a call on 781-380-8888. You know, I've got to tell you, I'm very disturbed that, uh, you know, we're considering keeping U.S. soldiers in Iraq. Indeed, there was a story that we're actually thinking about sending more operatives and whatever those kind of folk are that we don't talk about uh, uh, into Iraq uh, because we're afraid the Iranians are uh, gaining an influence in Iraq. I say, who cares? We've got to get out of these wars. We can't afford it anymore. And one of the things that I think Obama could do that would actually uh, help his political prospects is to just get out. You know, we didn't get into these wars um, because uh, the Democrats made a decision to get involved. It's an old decision based on outdated information. The whole world has changed. Let's just leave this, close this chapter and move beyond it. Um, secondly, we keep hearing stories about demand being, our demand will come from China, India, uh, and, and Brazil. Uh, in fact, uh, the so-called BRIC countries, are their economies are slowing down. So there really isn't any place that we can look to for demand to increase. Uh, thirdly, uh, the legendary economist Voth spoke in Der Spiegel, and he said that uh, where austerity comes in, anarchy follows. The reason this is important, and we haven't talked about this for probably five or six months, and you saw the situation in England a little while ago. You know, last fall, winter, there was a protracted period of uh, domestic unrest in France, it, and, and there have been spillovers into Germany as well. But what we have happening here is there's a combination of people losing economic hope and taking it out on immigrants who are typically darker complected. This actually is going on in Libya as we speak. And what has happened in Europe is that these, I don't know how to characterize these people, um, but benefits are being cut off. Uh, people who are used to being paid to stay home and watch soap operas, literally, okay, not the kind of stuff Republicans say about the US welfare system. Uh, there's a whole system in Europe where people are getting paid to stay home. They're being bought off. Well, those days are over. The governments can't afford it anymore. This is a factor in the Greek riots as well. Now, what the, the, the what Voth was speaking about is that as governments attempt to, attempt to impose austerity measures on their populations, that the, uh, that the political unrest leading to support of anarchy and anarchic type of behavior uh, will rise. And so we want to remind you that for at least two years we've been speaking about the real dangers of the inherent racism of the European systems as a reason for people not just of color but people who have been systematically excluded from the elitist ruling class elements uh, in those by those elitist recruiting, excuse me, the people who have been excluded from the opportunities that exist by the ruling class, by their accents, by what their father did for a living. All those chickens are going to come home to roost in Europe due to the economic difficulties now facing the Eurozone. A cautionary note, this same thing could happen here if we don't get a grip on our treatment of all people in the society. 5% of the people buy 37% of the goods. The middle class really is dying, and we really need to take some steps to get jobs back into the economy. I shall be fascinated to see if the president has anything important or significant to say tomorrow. I'm not sure. This is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows. Treat the gold volatility as just that. Uh, we're going to see gold in a solid upward move. Be a participant. Don't stay on the sidelines. People have been on the sidelines since 400 bucks an ounce. Let's make some money. Arnie Waters, aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Have a great day. Thanks.